what is going on guys moonshot gaming here today we're back with another video on the channel today guys we're going to talk about the may player of the month uh program that's coming out in mlb the show tomorrow um i believe the date is may 21st it's coming out um so if you guys didn't for the first time i think ever they made the player of the month cards completely free to get so you could get all these diamonds free and you can get the lightning card you Gregorius from April um, and I think it's great that you know you can get them for free you don't have to spend a ridiculous amount of stubs or do a ridiculous amount of grinding or get lucky you could literally just do some moments do some exchanges and you get them but yeah, in past years they've made it that you had to collect every player of the month card and there's always a diamond that goes for like I think usually like a hundred thousand stubs so you're spending a lot of stubs for the lightning card but luckily this year they made it completely free so you literally just have to do some moments and exchange some players and you will pick up the lightning player but tomorrow they're releasing the may one but before we hop into my may predictions make sure you hit that like button and subscribe all right so they did release three of the six cards that are coming into the program um the first one they're releasing is the 85 brandon crawford um i'll play that video right now The second player that they announced is the 87, I think, Hector Neris from May of 2019. Um, the Brandon Crawford's May of 2018. And then today they just released their third one. Take a look. And it's an 88 Derek Dietrich from May 2019. So those are three good cards there. But the thing is, there's one more player left in our final lightning card. So I'm going to give you my predictions for both of them. So for this final card here, once again, they took all these from past year. So I just pulled up some of the best player of the month cards from last year. Um, my first prediction here for that last card that isn't the lightning guy is this Raphael Devers. Um, 88 overall from 2019. The problem with him is he does have a face of the franchise card, so I don't know if they would give him a card, but this card would be really sweet. I know a lot of people love his swing, but if he can just get into the game, that would be a really good card. Next up, I have another card from 2019. I don't know if this guy's still playing or not, but Brandon Woodrow, if he got a nice 87 last year. This guy would be a decent starting pitcher. I don't think he would go in my rotation, but this Tyler Glass now would be the same thing as him. So, Brandon Woodrow, um, now, for MLB at the show 18, or MLB show 17, they actually had a couple of them. I would love to see this 90 Justin Bohr from May of 2017. This card was insane. I think I actually bought this card because he was so insane. But this card would be amazing if we could get him. Um, and that would also get people to grind up to that point. Um, another card is the 93 Lance McCullers. I don't know how likely this one's coming in considering the final Lightning Boss was a 93, but it'd still be nice to see, you know, a nice 93 starting pitcher. And then finally, I have another starting pitcher, 94 Alex Wood from MLB The Show 17. Once again, I don't know how likely this card is to come into the game, but it would be kind of nice to see a, you know, higher end pitcher come in at the 100 star mark. All right, now we're going to get into the final lightning bosses. So, Dieter Gregorius was the May reward from 2018. Um, they've only done player of the month three times, 2019, 2018, and 2017. So, I'm going to give you all three of those and let you know what I think the favorite is to get this card. So, the first one from MLB The Show 17, they had this 94 Carlos Correa, who actually wasn't a terrible card. He looks really good. Um, the issue with him, though, is he has a player, or he has a face of the franchise that is an 89. So I'm not sure if that's going to play a role in their decision to give him this card. And we'll see back-to-back -back shortstops. But uh, this Carlos Correa is a really good card. And now for MLB The Show 18, we have this 92 Justin Verlander. Now, I think this is probably the favorite to come into the game just because Verlander just has his diamonds. But... 
he's a good pitcher. He's better than his live series, and this would really decrease the price of his live series. But he is a good pitcher. He only throws four pitches last year, but they might buff him up to like a 94 or 95. Like, that's what they did with Dietrich. But I think this is a good card, this Justin Verlander. And finally, another card that had a good chance from MLB The Show 19, the 95, Josh Bell. And if this card comes into the game, I am grinding this. The first day it comes out, I this Josh Bell was insane last year. I, I think I had a couple times with him with BR. He's just such a good card, such a smooth swing. I could see this Josh Bell card coming into the game, but the same thing with Correa. He's got to face the franchise card. So I'm not sure how that's going to play a role into their, their decision, but 95 Josh Bell. So I either, I either think it's be between Bell or Verlander, and I think they're probably going to go with Verlander just because he doesn't have a face of the franchise. But it could be any one of those three. Um, that's a quick video. Let me know down in the comments who you think the final boss is going to be or the final lightning card. Um, and that's going to do for the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.